A detailed description of multiplication on a counting board can be found in the Sun Jie Sun Jing, Master Sun's computational canon, written around the 5th century AD. The process is based on memorized single-digit products, this was known as the 9-9 table, and using the counting board to keep track of the partial products and factors. For example, let's say we want to multiply 36 times 41. So the two factors are set down on the counting board. To allow us to focus on the process, we'll begin by showing these set down using our familiar Arabic numerals, although we'll also show how this would be done on the counting board to show the advantage of doing this using the rod numerals. So we'll set down our two factors, and we'll leave some rows between them. Now to set up, we want the leading digit of the upper factor should align with the last digit of the lower factor. Now, in the words of Master Sun, the upper commands the lower. The leading digit of the upper factor is multiplied by each digit of the lower factor, and the partial products are placed with the last digit of the product above the corresponding digit of the lower factor. And once completed, we remove the digit of the upper factor, and the partial products are added. So 4 times 3 is 12, which we set down. 4 times 6 is 24, which is also set down. And since we're done with the 4, it's removed, and we'll add our partial products. Notice that the leading digit of the upper factor is no longer above the last digit of the lower factor, so we move the lower factor and repeat. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 6 is 6, we add the partial products, and that gives us our product. Now, while this is how we would do this computation using our familiar Arabic numerals, when working on a real counting board, some simplifications are possible. For example, the partial products would have been added as they were created, and we don't have to rewrite the factor, we just move the counters. So again, we'll multiply 36 times 41, but this time we'll set down those numbers using the counting rods, 41 and 36. So upper commands the lower, 4 times 3 is 12, which we set down, then 4 times 6, which is 24, is set down, but at the same time we set it down, we can add these partial products. And since we're done with the 4, it's removed, and we shift the lower factor. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 6 is 6, and we add the partial products as we're setting them down. So these five ones can be traded for a five marker.